Hello everybody, and welcome to The Daily Splat. Uh, first of all, my apologies for my absence over the last couple of days. Regular uh, viewers will know, this is a semi-regular daily thing. Um, <laughs> and, you know, occasionally I stop for a period of time. Um, okay, yes, no, been very, very busy. Uh, well, when I say very busy, um, I've just been really quite tired, <laughs> to be honest, a bit worn out. Um, Today I feel a bit more refreshed, it's been a bit more of a relaxing day than previous days. So, here I am. Um, one of the main reasons I haven't done these, I suppose, is because um, we've just started rehearsals for a upcoming play, which I'll be giving you more details on closer to the time. Needless to say, though, a few nights a week when I'm actually planning on doing these, um, I'm actually running around on stage doing things. So, today... I thought I would uh, you know, try and give you something and share a thought of mine. And the thought was this. I... Okay, start again. Thumbs, right? Everybody knows thumbs. Everybody likes thumbs. We as humans use thumbs, whether it's scratching our nose or blowing up the Death Star. We you know, use thumbs for a lot of things. Um, and it's often said, or theorised, if you follow the line of uh, the grand design of creatures through evolution, that the development of the thumb on, uh, on intelligent apes, which would eventually evolve into becoming uh, Homo erectus, i.e. us, uh, that was the important thing for us to be able to craft tools and, you know, you know, we started off with stone axes and spears and we ended up creating combs and staplers. So, People often say that the thumb is what separates us from the animals, ignoring the fact that you know, some chimps have thumbs, but you know, the thumbs are pretty good, right? But why, if that's the case, and if it was down to the thumb, why aren't koalas the most advanced race? Because for those of you who aren't aware, the koala, which is a marsupial uh, native to the east coast of Australia, has two thumbs on each hand and they sort of basically you've got the main digits here and then you've got two thumbs wiggling on over here which you know help it grip onto branches and stuff um if the koala is two thumbs why is that not twice as advanced i think it's fairly safe to say that the thumb though crucial for creating tools and stuff wasn't the main reason that we uh, you know developed as as the species that we are you know it's not as though we have to go, all oh, praise the almighty thumb. You know, we should also praise the fact that we uh, have super enlarged brains for our, for our body size compared to other animals, that we're intelligent, that we've been, you know, been able to invent things like philosophy, logic, reason. You know, you, know, you know, those factors might have come into it somewhere along the way as well. Um, you know, why is it that the koala, blessed with the double thumb, hasn't used it to its advantage? Well, one argument is it's because they're asleep all the time. See, koalas have a very low metabolism, which means that they have to spend a lot of time asleep to conserve energy, or they'd end up getting, you know, really fat and being unable to function. Uh, so, and, it, you know, it takes them a long time to process their food, so that's why you see them sleeping so much. They sleep about 18 to 20 hours a day, and the rest of the time they spend eating, because they have to eat the equivalent of half a kilogram of eucalyptus leaves, or eucalypt leaves, that's the only thing they can eat, um, which is actually quite toxic to a lot of creatures, but not the koala. Um, so it could just be that, uh, you know, diet and surroundings has had a major effect on that, whereas humans were out eating red meat and nuts and growing the brains with various bits of protein, the koala was eating leaves that tended to kill most things and ended up just being fat and sat in a tree. But the other theory, perhaps, is that the koalas, with their two thumbs, are a more advanced society. Maybe they tried civilization long before, you know, humans did. Maybe they went, you know, Let's give uh, democracy a go, and they did, and then they invented armies and aqueducts and uh, play stations, and they went through the whole social thing. They had their industrial revolution, they had their political revolutions, and it all got a bit much, and then they thought, you know what, it'd be better, instead of living in this weird koala society where 
everyone's stressed out and we're trying to, you know, have wars with each other and things. Wouldn't it be better if we all just, you know, sat in a tree, slept all the time, and spent the couple of hours we were awake eating and occasionally reproducing so that the species carries on? And, you know, the koalas in their grand wisdom might have gone, yes, yes, that's a brilliant idea. Let's do that. And though the greatest and most intelligent species on the earth was formed. It's nonsense, I know, but it's just an idea. Anyway, uh, that is all for today. If you have any thoughts on uh, koalas, or if you'd like to give this video two thumbs up, or as I'm imagining a lot of you will, two thumbs down, uh, you may only give one, I'm afraid, but it's down there. Or just comment, or ignore it. Up to you. Okay, that is all for today. Uh, I will try get another one out to you tomorrow if anything crosses by noodle. Until then, though, bye bye.